Hello everybody. Um, I haven't done very many update videos on my Jag in quite some time. Uh, today I decided to clean it and polish up some of the aluminum. It's really nice and shiny now. I used a SOS pad. It's meant for cleaning dishes. Turns out to work really well for cleaning up aluminum. There's a reflection in there now. That was all corroded and crappy looking before. That looks pretty nice. Even the back bumper. See it's all nice and shiny again. Uh, really all I had was Windex to clean all the air parts, but hey, it looks pretty decent with Windex. Um, it was pretty gross and dirty looking before because it sat in my shed for the whole entire summer. And uh, my shed doesn't really have a very good roof, it's flat, and it's just made of plywood. So uh, you can see from all the marks there where the water goes, it chips right on my sled. So uh, my sled was looking pretty gross. So uh, yeah, decided to clean it. Make it look nice. Might be selling this after the season. The reason why I'm looking for looking for buying a truck. Um, that's what I'm thinking right now. But I know in a little while I'm probably gonna end up changing my mind. I'm looking for an older Toyota Forerunner or a Toyota truck. As long as it's a four-cylinder or five-speed, I'm okay with it. Um, this engine is. In really good shape. It's been rebuilt two years ago, so pistons and all that, all new crap inside there. Um, last year I put that UD air filter thing on. Seems to work pretty good. Doesn't really add much power at all to it. You don't even notice a difference at all. I don't really think it's meant for power or whatever, but I also repainted the exhaust last year, but as you can see, it's rusting up again. That's kind of disappointing. I put a lot of paint on that freaking thing. Um, that battery's kind of shot. So yeah, that's all it really does. After driving it for like three hours, it charges up. <laughs> but, yeah, that's uh, not very good. And I'm thinking my alternator might be fried as well, because I got a brand new battery right out of the box for it. Charged it, and then put on my snowmobile. Drove around, started up a few times, and alternator wouldn't charge it. So, uh, yeah, I didn't... I think the alternator, the alternator inside here... And not be working, but really that's not a big deal because got a pull cord. Um, the SOS pad actually works pretty good on this stuff here too. It's all nice and smooth. Any aluminum, I guess. Um, I guess I'll give it a start. Show kind. This is a cold start. So it's been sitting for quite some time. I drove it out here like four hours ago. And washed it and with the hose and let it dry and then came out here and gave it a gave it a nice shine so choke was on this one doesn't like to start up very well it sputters
so yeah as you can see it runs pretty nice I changed the jets in the car um, I put bigger ones in like originally but turns out putting bigger jets in the carb uh, makes it rich runs like crap and uses a lot of gas so I put the original um, jet back in the car now the thing runs beautiful it doesn't stall when it's idling and it's so much better on gas As you can see it's on empty it's been on empty for the whole entire summer and I've been starting it up every once in a while making sure everything's all good because I don't fog them because uh, I don't like fogging them I start them up every once in a while make sure they're all good every month or two I start them up this one's actually been sitting for almost the whole entire summer without being started I just start it up maybe for two or three seconds at a time just pull it over let it fire and shut it off but yeah I just wanted to show you guys that um, for any other video requests, let me know. I got my other sleds at my dad's. Uh, the SL292C Yamaha and the 250 Yamaha. And the Cheetah. The Cheetah, that long track, is um, in our storage trailer thing. It's in pretty bad shape, the Cheetah. I don't think it'll be, uh, I don't think I'll be putting it on the trail this year. So, yeah. Anyways, um, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe if you uh, want any videos towards any repair things towards uh, chainsaws, weed whackers, lawn boys, uh, any lawn mowers, anything really. Just let me know because I'm pretty good at that. I could do some how-to videos. I think I'll be starting on my own little repair thing uh, on YouTube. How-to for all kinds of different things. So I'll be starting that up soon. Anyways. Uh, thanks for watching. Alright.